Ramsey is. Look at his muscles. He's not missed leg day. Hey. He's seeing very unhappy in you. My husband! Husband! <laughs> 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 oh, oh, God. He's so yeah, cool. he's he's not happy. Oh Jesus! <laughs> mongrel. Piss off. He's got quite a mouth on him. The bloke, I mean, not the wombat. Piss off, you bastard. It's really rare for them to do this. Like this has to be a pretty aggravated little individual. Normally, when a wombat feels threatened, it will run away and go into its burrow. When wombats attack, eh? Hey? Jesus Christ. But they can be aggressive and they do have strong little legs and they are heavy and their primary weapon is the charge. Oh, you bastard. Piss off. It's pretty amazing and this guy's getting it in full. They just run at you and uh, there's a little bit of biting around the ankles that can happen. I didn't realise wombats had such big f***ing teeth, eh? Hey. Oh, he's got a scratch. Yeah. Wombat teeth are pretty cool, which is a phrase I know you never thought that you would look at on social media. <sighs> they actually keep on growing the whole entire life of the wombat, and that's because they use it to grind so much vegetation. They just keep on growing and wearing them down over their whole life. Oh, don't you dare. Ah, you The best thing to do would probably be to beat a retreat and let the wombat, you know, calm down. Okay, we've got the next one. Ooh, ooh. Oh dear. Oh, hear the bobby? Hey. Hissing. Oh dear. This very unhappy emu. You can see that that bird, when it's aggressive, it's standing up very tall, making itself big by sort of fluffing up its fluffy feathers all over its neck. And you heard really beautiful sound in this one, both hissing, which is extremely sort of aggressive, and the bumping, which is the emu's native sound, and it does it by inflating an air sac and womping it. Is womping a technical term? No. <laughs> Womp. They... They... <laughs> Why are you upsetting that emu, mate? Put the camera down and get out of there. There is no doubt an emu could hurt you with those huge claws. They're three-toed and their middle toe is much, much bigger. Perfect for disemboweling you. I mean, I haven't heard of it happening. Whoa. All right, we've got two kangaroos and we're in someone's front yard. Jeez, they're big. Hey, I'm really big. <laughs> hey, bro. Ooh, ooh. Skippy would be absolutely slaughtered in this <laughs> scenario. I think that these will both be males. It's normal that males will be fighting and generally not females. And they're trying to sort out a bit of a hierarchy. He'll stand as tall as a person, especially when they're upright and being aggressive like this. Yeah, the head tilt. Yeah, yeah. The grapple without looking. That's because they're actually trying to get their head away from being scratched or, you know, your brain is really important to your functioning. So you want to do everything you can to protect it in a fight. And they will sit back onto that big tail and actually do a kangaroo kick, like a boof. And that can disembowel an opponent if the angle is right. So they also have really strong, thick skin on their tummies to protect against other kangaroos. I wouldn't get that close. How many rounds are in this? It's like Mortal Kombat, it's like, finish him! It's really unusual to see extended kangaroo fights. They normally sort it out pretty quickly, so these two guys look pretty evenly matched. Imagine how much energy this sort of thing would take. They're gonna be tired, injured, hungry after they do this. And then they've gotta go out and bonk a lady, so it's hard. <laughs> okay, why has he got it on his hand? Oh, husband! Husband! <laughs> 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 We've 
have all been there. <laughs> well, actually, we don't all have friends like that. I hope the spider's all right. So even though they're not harmful to humans, they're still going to give you a fright. These guys will only bite when they've been absolutely really hassled into it. And they have pretty big fangs, so they can pierce human skin. But they have fairly weak venom, so it means that you might get a reaction and swelling, but really it's not going to hurt you beyond that. Daniel on a donkey. Just keep pressure, keep pressure. I heard that noise. It's all right. Clearly, there must yes. be a crocodile there somewhere. I cannot see it. Yes, Daniel. Quick, bro, the big f is on it. <laughs> They're quite close to the edge of the water there, guys. Run back, bro. Run back, bro. <gasps> run back, bro. Run back. Oh. Oh, run, bro. Run, 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 run. Run, Daniel, run. Run. <laughs> run, Daniel. Oh, that is cool. He wants the fishy. Give him the fish. Run, bro. Oh, no, he's got it. Pressure on. Keep the pressure. Oh, look no. how proud of himself he looks. No, it's so big. It's no. so big. He's swallowing it. To be fair, I don't think that that crocodile was going for the humans. It was going for the fish. The stats indicate that there are maybe two attacks a year, less fatalities, not that many fatalities a year from crocodile attack. But there's things that you can do to avoid this situation. If you're camping, make sure you camp at least 50 metres away from the edge of the water. And if you're going down to get water in a bucket or otherwise, make sure that you go to a different spot on the river every time so that you're not habituating that crocodile to know where you're going to be. Hope you like that one and if you did hit subscribe for more videos and if you've got a suggestion for an animal that you'd like me to look at for how deadly why don't you leave your suggestions in the comments below and I'll make sure I read them. I'll catch you next time.